In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to use the Weeks Crypto Exchange mobile app. If you're looking to learn how to trade futures using the mobile app, I made a separate tutorial for that. I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new account, how to deposit some crypto assets onto the platform, and then I'll get you familiar with the user interface. After that, I'll demonstrate how to buy and sell some crypto using market orders as well as limit orders. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. If this is your first time signing up on the platform, I left you a link in the description of this video as well well as in the pinned comment down below. Weeks is often running promotions for people who are signing up for the first time. These can be nice deposit bonuses, giveaways, mystery boxes, airdrops, and more. You'll also save 15% on all your taker orders for the lifetime of your account. So anytime you place a market order, you'll be saving 15% on all your trading fees, as well as be eligible for the current promotion, whatever that might be by the time you're watching this video. You'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto exchange, including the Weeks platform. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below, so at any point, feel free to skip ahead to a section that might be most relevant to you. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. If you're creating an account from your computer, you can come down to the pinned comment just below this video and click on this link right here. That's going to redirect you to the sign up page. You'll be able to see the current promotion over here on the left hand side. And at the time of making this video, you can get up to 380 USDT in welcome bonuses. I'll also mention that anybody that uses my link when signing up is also going to save 15% on all their taker orders. So anytime you execute market orders, you'll be saving 15% on your trading fees for the lifetime of your account. You can save even more by using limit orders. And this is exclusive to anybody that uses my link when creating an account. Right here, you can create your account by using an email or you can use a phone number. Choose an option that works best for you. Make sure to read through the user agreement, check this box here, and when you're ready, click on sign up and receive new user gift. If you're creating an account from your phone, you can tap on the link in the pinned comment down below and that will redirect you to the sign up form for mobile device. Again, you can choose an email or a phone number, come up with a good password and tap on sign up and receive new user gift when you're ready. You'll be able to see the current promotion just down below right here. You can navigate to downloading the Weeks mobile app from inside your Weeks account. So when you sign in on your computer from the home page, just come up here top right hand side to this little download icon. Hover your mouse over top and you can scan that QR code then tap on the link and then you'll find the download options on this screen here. You can tap on Android APK if you're using an Android or you can navigate directly to the Google Play Store by tapping on the Google Play link. Then from here you can download and install the app. Alternatively you can always navigate directly to the Google Play Store and then search for the Weeks app from there. And here's the home page once you sign into the app. Now before we get moving with this tutorial, I'll show you how to toggle this into dark mode. You can do that by tapping on these dots, top left hand side of the screen. Then you can tap right here on this moon icon and that'll toggle this into dark mode. Alternatively, you can tap here on general settings and you'll find your theme right here. If you tap on that, you can see that you can toggle between light and dark mode. Now I prefer dark mode, so I'll be using that for the duration of this tutorial, but certainly choose a theme that looks best to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out, tap on the back button, top left hand side, and once again, and we're back to the home page. Now don't forget to check out some of the welcome bonuses as well. To do that, just tap right here where it says welcome bonus, and that's going to bring you over to a page where you can unlock some rewards for using the app. You can see some futures transfer bonuses here. You'll also see some futures trading bonuses down below. The more that you transfer and the more that you trade with, the more in bonuses you can receive. So at some point in the future, if you're going to be trading some futures, just make sure to come in here and claim some of these bonuses. If you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see there's some terms and conditions, so certainly read through those. But just make sure, come in here, collect some bonuses if at some point you'll be trading futures using this app. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the back button top left hand side of the screen here. And remember, anybody that uses my link when signing up is also going to get a 15% discount on all their taker fees. So that's if you're using market orders. And you'll save even more when using limit orders. And I'll be demonstrating both those order types in this tutorial.
To deposit some crypto assets onto the platform, you can simply tap right here on deposit found on the home page. Next, choose a crypto that you wish to deposit onto the platform by tapping right here. Then you can choose one from this list here. You can choose one from popular crypto, or you can just simply search front of the search bar up above. I'm perfectly fine demonstrating with Tether, so I'll just tap here on USDT to leave this set to Tether. Next, you'll need to choose a network that you wish to make this deposit over, and you can do that by tapping right here. Here's where you'll find a list of available networks that you can use, and some of these networks are less in fees and faster than others. But the main thing is you wanna make sure to match the network here to wherever you're sending the crypto from. You don't want to send from one network and into another or you will lose your crypto. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and use the BET20, which is right here, the BSC, which is the Binance Smart Chain. So I'll just simply tap on that. Once you choose the network, as well as the crypto you wish to deposit, Weeks will then generate a deposit address for that crypto as well as network. And you'll be able to see it right here. Mine's behind a black box. You'll also see a QR code down below that. So if you're doing this from another cell phone, you can always scan that QR code. But for this demonstration, I'm going to copy my deposit address by simply tapping on these two boxes right here. And what I'll do is I will send some tether from another crypto exchange called Blowfin and onto the Weeks platform. So now that I've copied my tether deposit address for the Binance Smart Chain, I'll bring Blowfin into frame. Now that I'm on the Blowfin crypto exchange, I need to find the crypto withdrawal form. And to do that, I'm going to come down here, tap where it says wallets. I'm going to tap here where it says funding. And now I'm going to tap here on tether. And then I'm going to tap here on withdraw. Next, I need to choose the correct network. So on the weeks exchange, I selected the Binance Smart Chain. So I need to select the Binance Smart Chain here on Blowfin. And I can see it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. So now that I've selected tether and the correct network, I can now paste in my week's deposit address for Tether on the Binance Smart Chain into this box right here. Now that I've done that, I can come down here and choose how much Tether I wish to send from Blowfin and over to the week's exchange. Now I just have a tiny amount of Tether here, so I'll go ahead and just tap on max. Now I'm ready to withdraw my Tether from Blowfin and send it over to Weeks on the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm gonna come down here and tap on withdraw. And now I'm going to confirm my order. This looks good to me, so I'm gonna come down here and tap on confirm. Now I need to put in my security verification. And now that Tether's on its way from Blowfin and heading over to the Weeks platform. Now, a quick tip with this. If it's your first time depositing assets onto the Weeks exchange, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send in larger amounts. So I'll go ahead and bring Weeks back into frame. And then once the crypto arrives on the platform, you'll be able to find it in your spot wallet. So now that I'm back on the Weeks platform, I'll just simply tap the back button, top left-hand side of the screen. And if you look down here, you can see the Tether is now in my account. If you're not seeing it here, just make sure you're set to spot up at the top of the app here. And this can take a little bit of time, depending on how fast the blockchain is. If you'd like to view the different pairings as well as the price action charts of an asset before buying and selling on the spot market, you can get this done by coming down here and tapping where it says markets. Then up at the top, tap where it says spot, and here's where you'll find the spot pairings. Now you'll see that some of these pairings are quoted in Tether and others are quoted in USDC. So if you're to use the Tether pairings, that means you'll need Tether to purchase the crypto that you're interested in. If you sold a crypto using the Tether pairings, you'd be receiving USDT for the sale. If you're to use a USDC pairing, that means you'll need USDC to purchase the crypto. And if you sold a crypto using the USDC pairings, you'd receive USDC for the sale. So in my case here, I sent Tether into my Weeks account, so I need to use the Tether pairings. And I'll just demonstrate by tapping on BTC versus USDT, but tap on a pairing that you wish to trade. Or alternatively, you can search for one in the search bar up above. But I'll go ahead and tap here on BTC, USDT. Then this will bring you into the price action chart of the asset that you're interested in trading. And you can see the price action chart right here, showing you the asset's performance over a selected time frame. You can see in my case here, up at the top, I'm currently set to a four hour time frame. That means each one of these candlesticks down below represents four hours of time. Simply tap on the time frame you wish to view. And if you want to see additional time frames, just tap right here where it says more. And of course, tap on the time frame you want to look at. I'll go ahead and switch this to a daily. 
Now I'm viewing the price action chart in a daily time frame. That means each one of these candlesticks down below now represents a day of time. If we scroll down this page a little further here, you'll see some basic indicators that you can add to the chart. If I wanted the MACD, I'd tap here on MACD. Now, as you can see, I added the moving average convergence divergence to the bottom of the chart. If I want to get rid of that, I'll just tap on MACD again. And just like that, it's gone. Nice and simple. If we scroll down a little further, you'll find the order book. That's showing you where market participants have placed buy orders and sell orders. And they're doing that by using limit orders, which I'll be demonstrating in this tutorial. On the left hand side in green, we have what's known as the bids. These are the price points that market participants have placed their buy orders. On the right side in red, we have the asks. These are the price points that market participants have placed their sell orders. If a trader comes along and executes a market order, they're matched up with the best available price off the order book and the trade is executed immediately. If you want to see these trades happening in real time, just tap here on trades next to order book. And here's where you'll see successful trades executing in real time. All the buys coming in in green, all the sells coming in in red. You can see in the price column, the price point, the successful trade was executed. And in the amount column, you'll see the size of the trade that went through. When you want to get back to your order book, just tap here on order book. Now, I'll also point out you can change the pairing from here if you tap up at the top. So in my case, where it says BTC USDT. Then we'll tap here on spot. And then you can select a different pairing. So let's go ahead and tap on ETH versus USDT. Now, when you look back at the top, you can see I've changed this to Ethereum versus Tether. So this order book is showing me all the buys and sells of Ethereum. And if we scroll up, the price action chart is now for Ethereum. When you're ready to buy and sell an asset, just come down here and tap on trade. And this will bring you over to the order form. Now on the right hand side, you'll be able to see the order book. So again, the bids down below, the asks up above. In the middle of the order book, you'll see what's known as the mid price. And that's the price point that the asset is currently trading at. Now over here on the order panel, you can be a buyer or you can tap on sell if you want to be a seller. And you can choose your order type by tapping right here where it says limit. And then down below, you have the option to do limit orders as well as market orders, which I'll be demonstrating in this tutorial. I'll also point out that you can also change the pairing from here if you tap right here. So in my case where it says ETH USDT. Then we'll tap here on spot and I'll go ahead and tap here on BTC USDT. Now, as you can see, I just changed the pairing to Bitcoin versus Tether. Now you can also come directly to the order form from the home page as well. So I'll tap down here on home. And if you don't want to look at the price action chart or the order book or anything like that, you can just come down here, tap where it says trade. And that brings you directly to the order form. First, I'll demonstrate a market order. These order types are nice and simple. They'll execute immediately at the best available price off the order book, whether you're buying an asset or selling an asset. So the first thing we need to do here on the order form is choose if we're going to be a buyer or a seller. I'll start out as a buyer first. Now I'm going to tap right here where it says limit and I'm going to come down here and tap on market. Now I'm ready to place a market order. So all I need to do here is choose how much of my available balance I wish to spend on the asset. You can do that in this box right here. And of course, you'll see your available balance right here. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. So if I wanted to buy a custom amount, I could just type it in. But alternatively, you can use this slider bar as well. So if I was to slide this up to say 56%, that will spend 56% of my available balance on this asset. If I slid it up to 100% like so, that would spend 100% of my available balance on this asset. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just do a custom amount. Let's do 50 tether. But once you get your buyer to set up the way that you want it, come down here, tap on buy. And order successful. So just like that, I bought some Bitcoin at the best available price off of the order book. Now I can find my Bitcoin if I come down here and tap on asset. Make sure I'm set to spot up at the top. And right here, you can see that Bitcoin I just purchased using Tether. Now, if you want to sell a crypto using a market order, what we'll do is we'll come down here, tap on trade. That brings us directly to the order form. Now we'll tap here where it says sell. And now we'll choose how much of the asset that we wish to sell. Of course, I'm still set to Bitcoin. So this works perfectly fine for me because I just bought some Bitcoin. But if you're using a different asset, you'd tap on the pairings up above and then select the asset that you wish to sell. So now that I've got the order form set to sell, I'll just go ahead and use the slider bar, slide it up to 100%. 
That means I'm going to sell 100% of my Bitcoin at the best available price off the order book. But once you get your sell order set up the way that you want it, tap here on sell. And just like that, I immediately sold my Bitcoin at the best available price off the order book. Now I'll demonstrate a limit order. And limit orders give you the ability to choose a price point that you wish to be a buyer or a seller. But you will need the price of the asset to reach your limit price before your order is going to fill and execute. So the first thing we need to do is configure the order panel to a limit order. So we'll tap right here where it says market. Come down here and tap on limit. Now I've configured the order panel for a limit order. So next we'll choose if we're going to be a buyer or a seller. I'll demonstrate as a buyer first. So I'm going to leave this set to buy just above limit there. Now what we need to do is choose a price point that we wish to purchase the asset at. So we can see here on the mid price of the order book that Bitcoin is currently trading at 63,249. And just for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I think Bitcoin is going to come down to 62,000. And maybe I want to place a buy order to buy some Bitcoin at that price point. So I'm going to come up here and tap on this box and I'm going to type that price point in. We'll go 62,000 just like so. Next, I need to choose the size of this order. Now we can choose how much of the asset we wish to purchase in this order by tapping on this box right here. Or we can choose how much of our balance we want to put into this order by tapping right here. And of course, typing in a custom amount if we wish. Once again, you'll see your available balance right down below. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. And again, you always have the option to use the slider bar as well. So if I put that up to 47%, that would put 47% of my available balance into this order. But for this demonstration, I'll just do a custom amount of 50 tether, just like so. But once you get your limit order set the way that you want it, you'd come down here and you would tap where it says buy. And just like that, I placed that limit order to buy Bitcoin at 62,000. So if the price of Bitcoin comes down to 62,000, this order will fill and I'll be buying some Bitcoin. But it will only fill if the price of the asset reaches your order price. Now down here where it says open orders is where you're going to see all your orders that you have on the order book. And if at any point you want to cancel these orders, just tap on cancel right here. And just like that, I took that buy order off of the order book. Now you can use your limit order to place a sell order as well. So we'll come up here to the top of the order panel. We'll tap where it says sell. Of course, we'll make sure we're set to limit. And now we'll choose a price point that we wish to sell an asset. So again, on the mid price of the order book, I see Bitcoins at 63,277. And let's just imagine for the purposes of demonstration that I think the price of Bitcoin is going to come up to 70,000 and maybe I want to place a sell order up at that level for whatever reason. So what we'll do is we'll tap on this box here and I'll type in 70,000. Next, we'll choose how much of the asset we wish to sell if our price point gets hit. And I'll just use the slider bar here. I'll slide it up to 100%, but of course, Set this up the way that you want it. And once you get your orders up the way that you like it, come down here and tap on sell. And just like that, I placed a sell order to sell my Bitcoin at 70,000. So if the price of Bitcoin gets up to 70,000, this order would fill and I'd be selling my Bitcoin. And of course, I can see my open order right here under open orders. At any point, if you want to cancel it, just tap right here on cancel. And I just took that sell order off the order book. As simple as that. And there you have it, your introduction to using the mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other week's tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.